most important things you need to do with your website is back it up. I mean, you need to back up everything, but um, you know the website's very important that you back it up. Whether you back it up daily or weekly, really, or even monthly, really depends on the frequency by which you change or add things to it. Whether that's plugins, whether that's uh, new themes, whether that's uh, posts or pages, whatever it is, if you're changing stuff weekly, you need to back it up weekly. If you're changing stuff monthly, you could probably be fine with backing it up monthly. Well, a great plugin out there for this is BackWP Up. Um, you can install it with plugins. Just go to um, at plugins, add new, search for back WP up. Looks like back W pup, uh, back WP up. Um, it's a fantastic plugin. I highly recommend it. Um, and you can then once it's installed, you need to add a uh, a new job. Jobs are what they call the backups. I've already added one in here, so I'll just go in and, and edit. It's the same screen that you'll see. I mean, you see you have all these data, database tables. Um, you can choose what you want to back up. If you want to back up everything, you can tell it to optimize your database. If you want to go, you know, all out and let it have it give it all kinds of um, power and do do lots of different things. Check database tables, let you know if there's any problems. Um, one of the, the basic backups that you can do manually is the... Um, right here with this export and that's what this is WP XML export what that'll do is back up your posts your pages your links and all the basic information with your website uh, very very basic um, one of the other things you can do with this is actually back up the files you can back up the plugins you can back up everything um, it, but you're gonna you're not gonna be able to email that to yourself because that's how it's currently set up here um, but you can uh, back it up to say Dropbox which is right here Dropbox is great um, you can, it, it's like a remote cloud uh, service. You can back it up to uh, several different things Amazon, um, Google. There's lots of backup options. You can back it up to FTP if you have input your um, FTP information um, in here, right here. Back up to FTP server. So, but to do Dropbox, you're just going to need to basically log in. You're going to hit authenticate. It's going to ask you some information. It's going to ask you what folder you want to put it in. Um, then you're going to want to say every uh, every day I want to um, I want to back it up here. There is a way that you can um, let's see. There is a way you can back up only say 15 days. If you're doing a daily backup like I do with a lot of my stuff, you can back it up and say I want to have this backup every 15 days and on the 16th day delete the oldest file replace it with the newest file so it's con it's got a running backup of, of stuff but you're not just filling up a folder with useless backups that you're never going to use this way you back up 15 days 30 days whatever it is and um, and you're in business it's pretty neat um, that's actually <clears throat> I mean there's there's all kinds of of stuff you can do here it's pretty cool so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off file backup you can also um, if you just you can uncheck all these say you just wanna update your um, your blog uploads so all of the uh, all of the, the image files and PDFs and all that stuff you can you can save that here it's pretty cool I'm um, really really flexible plugin uh, called back WP up and I highly recommend using it of course this doesn't back up everything um, unless you tell it to um, so you'll you can either get the program the plugin to do it for you um, and if you're doing it daily I would recommend I would not recommend doing the the full full backup of everything uh, for example the uh, all your folders and plugins and everything else. What I would recommend is you create another job with a monthly or um, I think that's your only option is is yeah monthly. So and on the first of the month you could tell it I want to back up everything on the first of the month. Um, but but in that case you would it, it's a totally separate backup and so you've got two different backups running uh, daily and a, and a monthly. But that's, you know, it's very important because all this will do is give you the ability, if your database is corrupted, to restore it. So all the other files on your site 
they stay the way they are. That's assuming that they didn't get corrupted too. So if your server goes down, uh, whatever, whatever happens, you have, with the total backup, you have the ability to totally back things up, res totally restore things. With this, all you have the ability to do is basically re-import all your content, re-upload your theme, find all the plugins you were using, re-upload all of that. If you made any tweaks to your theme online versus offline, uh, that's a whole nother tutorial. Uh, you know, you're going to have to redo those tweaks. Um, it's a big mess if you don't have a total backup. Um, you're talking about, you know, total backup, you're looking at a half hour to an hour to fix it. Uh, uh, not a total backup like this, and your total in your site is totally wiped out. You're looking at six to eight hours to restore, but at least you won't have to type anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, your choice, uh, how you want to go about that. Hope this helps.